Hi friends, so we are here again for EL content and it's going to be a quick lesson today. I'm going to do another read aloud um, for persuasive writing and we're going to just talk about it quickly about how it is persuasive and why it's persuasive and then I will just show you how um, I want you guys to set up your persuasive writing piece to um, share later in our Google Meets, okay? So we are on our Yale content lesson for the day. And like I said, it was quick. So we're going to read another story that shows persuasion and convincing. And who knows this book? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. So he is trying to convince all of us that he is not a tired pigeon. But guess what? He is a tired pigeon. So let's see what happens. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Oh good, it's you. Listen, it's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Thanks. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No? <laughs> I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. Can I watch it? Can I watch it? It should be very educational. I don't need to go to sleep. What about five more minutes? Come on, what's five more minutes in the grand scheme of things? I'm trying to stay up late. What? What? I'm not tired. You know, we never really talk anymore. Tell me, tell me about your day. Oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. See friends, he's really trying to get out of going to bed. He's trying to think about all these other things to do instead of sleep. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow instead. Hey ho, hey ho, this is Pigeon here. I won't go. Please let me stay up late. My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? Oh. <sighs> Only that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard the last yawn of me. Great work, friends. Thanks for letting him go to sleep. Good night. And <laughs> look at Mr. Penguin. He is dreaming about all those hot dogs for his hot dog party. All right, so that was a quick story about how Mr. Penguin really was trying to convince us that he wasn't tired and that he didn't need to go to sleep. But in fact, he did need to go to sleep. He was trying to give us all the reasons why he didn't need to go to bed. Like he wanted to have a hot dog party and he wanted to have conversations and watch TV. So he was trying to really convince us that sleep was not in the cards for him. Okay, so for today for content, this is what I want you to do. I have, um, you guys have finished your persuasive writing pieces, right? So you did your um, opening sentence, you did your first reason and your second reason sentence, and then you did your conclusion sentence. So for today, I just want you to make sure that you have all of those components finished, okay? I want you to make sure that you have the title of your show. I want you to make sure that you have a picture of the show that you're trying to prove to us that is great and amazing and that we should watch it. I want to make sure that you guys have your opening sentence, your first reason sentence, your second reason sentence, 
and your kinkui. Okay, so make sure you have all of those parts of your little persuasive writing piece. Okay, and you can set it up like mine, kind of like a little booklet. It kind of opens it up and it's just like that. Um, and I'm going to practice reading mine to you so you know how to present yours later. Okay, so we're going to present our little persuasive pieces at our, our um, live Google Meet. And you guys just practice them throughout the day today with your moms or dads, brothers or sisters. So practice reading it and make sure you have high quality work. Make sure your pictures look beautiful and you've colored it in and you have your title of your show or your movie. Make sure you write your name on it anywhere on the, the cover page and kind of make like a little booklet like Miss Ewan did, okay? So I'm gonna practice reading it to you guys. So you kind of know um, when we have our live Google Meet how I want you to kind of do it, okay? So my favorite show, or one of my favorite shows that I think that your parents should watch is called Friends. And you see I wrote the title of the show, I drew the picture of the three boys with coffee cups and the three girls with coffee cups, and they're sitting on a couch because that is what they do. They love to sit at the coffee shop. That's a good picture for the show. That's probably one of the best pictures to show that that's what it's about because they're all hanging out together, these friends. Okay, so I'm gonna read it like this, okay? I'm gonna open up my booklet and I'm gonna kind of sit in front of the camera and this is what I'm gonna say. My opening sentence, I like the show Friends. One reason to watch the show is because it's really funny. Another reason is because they would be really cool friends to have. I feel like I could connect to them and relate to them and be their friends too. My conclusion sentence. I think you should watch the show Friends too. It is a great show. Okay, so I added a couple more parts to mine just to make it really convincing. So you guys really should watch the show. Not you, because you're too young, but your moms and dads, it's a good show for adults. Okay, so that's how I want you to, what you want, what you should do today for content. Make sure you have your booklets all filled in. Make sure you have all of the components and practice reading it a couple times today before our live Google Meet so you're ready to share it with your friends. And your friends, I'm sure, can't wait to see it. And I, of course, can't wait to see it, okay? And if you have your um, graphic organizers that you filled out, I'd love to see those too, okay? You don't have to share them, but when, we, when um, it's your turn today to share, um, you know, Friday at three o'clock, today at three o'clock, you could just put it up to show me that you did it. If you didn't do this part, that's fine, because I, I said that you could use this, you didn't have to use it. So, I'll see you all at three o'clock with your beautiful persuasive writing pieces, and make sure they're all done and practice reading them today. All right, guys, see you later.